This conference will now be recorded. All right, good uh, evening, everyone. Welcome to the uh, RMC Support Group, September 2023. Um, hopefully, um, everyone is doing well. Um, as always, you know, as a group, is to you know, uh, share our, our shared experiences and you know, any questions or concerns you may have or any updates you might have, please feel free to share with the group. Um, so I'm going to go around and, and, you know, ask everyone if, if they have anything they would like to share. And please feel free to, you know, share it. And if you can, pop up on video so we can see your, your faces. We love to see faces. Um, so, yeah, so we're going to get started. Uh, we're going to start with... Uh, Brian, University of Houston hat on. You got any update for us or <laughs> share with the group? Um, not really any updates to share right now. I did go see a nephrologist at the suggestion of Dr. Marsal. Just since, since I have one kidney, she knows, make sure it stays healthy. You know, do what I gotta do to keep it, you know, running correctly. But uh, other than that, um, that's the only news I have really had to report right now uh, have you already met with the nephrologist or you that's something you got set up uh i met him uh i went like probably a couple weeks ago for okay. the end of august so okay. does he have any uh any nuggets or or tips for for the rest of us with, with one kidney on here um he he's went through to get some testing done um he did suggest that like i uh try to add more like I guess non um I guess non meat protein like I guess like kind of that um kind of work on like a so like a kidney healthy diet like low sodium uh less red meat uh look into like plant based proteins stuff like that add it into my diet so okay Cause I know my uh my creatinine runs a little high because you know I yeah, have one kidney. So. Yeah, yeah, mine's run run high as well. So yeah, um, I know we're trying to get the nutritionist on here, um, but I mean we can get a nephrologist on here. That'd be good too, since you know yeah. most of the RMC patients you know only have one kidney. So I think that'd be good. That's be that'd be info. I would I would like to know. You know that would be great. Because I never thought about it, you know, and it does make sense to make sure that one kidney yeah. is healthy. Got to protect the one kidney. But <laughs> once you pass RMC, you know, you still focus on RMC, but you also got to prepare for, you know, after, you know, after that battle as well. So you want to keep that one kidney, you know, as healthy as possible. So Yeah, because I think uh, they aim to just, like, keep it healthy so we don't have to, like, have to deal with, like, uh, dialysis when we get older or as mm -hmm. time goes on. Yeah, yeah. No. Ain't nobody want to do dialysis. So yeah, that'd be that'd be good, Miss Richie. If we can, you know, try to yeah, that would be good. Dialysis, you know, something somebody that specializes in, you know, kidney. Maybe Brian can reach out to his guy to see. Brian, Brian, you think he's pretty amenable to something like that? Uh, I mean, I can talk to him. I've only met him. That was the first time I met him. So. Okay. Yeah. And I can I can ask Doctor Masal too, but I mean that that's a that's that information so nutritionist and a nephrologist and did he mention to the importance of staying hydrated yes definitely okay so, nephrologist and a nutritionist so we'll have one on at each time hopefully we can get a larger group too yeah. Miss Richie, I got my, my dad here. Hey! Jump in and How are you? How are y'all doing? Doing well. How about yourself? I am doing great. Enjoying my, you know, vacation with my kids. I was That's in Mississippi with my son and my grandkids, so I'm just just uh, enjoying family. Hey, that's wonderful. Yeah. Uh, Miss Richie's daughter just enrolled to, uh, she just started at uh, University of Pittsburgh. All right. Yeah. 
All right. So I'm a, uh I'm gonna give Miss Richie your, your contact info. You yeah. Know, if her daughter ran into any issues. Yeah. I told her you you know you know Pittsburgh inside and out. Yeah. So. And I always answer my phone. <laughs> okay. All right. I her mean, name is Gabrielle. I've been phone number for 45 years. Wow. You about as bad as I am. <laughs> Don't change. <laughs> I, now, now, my son had to get me an iPhone. I had to come up to the 21st century and get my iPhone. So. <laughs> <laughs> that is wonderful, but you look great. Yep, so he'll give you my info. And, um, and I'll give him. If she ever needs anything, she can, give me, she can give me a call. Okay, well, if anybody ring your phone, her name is Gabrielle. Gabrielle. Okay, Gabrielle. All right. Yep, and that's... Uh, that's uh, Chris Johnson, CJ, the namesake of the foundation. That's his daughter. That's his daughter. Oh, yep. okay. Good. I'm going to send Andre a picture of her so you at least have that too. Okay. What's your, what's your number? I don't know your number. Oh, it's 412. 916. 916. 4292. 4292. All right, right Miss Rich, I'm putting in the chat for you. All right, Dad. All right. Just text me. <laughs> I can text you too, Miss Richie. Just, oh, yeah. I'll text it to you. Okay. All right. All right. Good, sit, good talking to y'all. All right. You take care. All right. I, I tell, tell her I got her. All she got to do is call me. I will definitely tell her that. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. All right. All right. All right, well. All right. I'll be down here. Okay, I right. appreciate the update, Brian. Um, yeah, that's good info about you know keep, keeping the kidney, uh, um, you know, healthy and strong. Uh, since most of us only have one, so that's good info to have. Hopefully, we can get you know him on here so he can give us some good, good nuggets about you know hydration and, and healthy foods and um, you know good tidbits on you know how to keep the kidney healthy so thank you thank you for sharing um we're gonna get move to uh heather heather you have any uh updates or any questions or concerns you want to share with the group um yes i i do actually um sorry i don't know if you guys can see me um i am in houston right now actually uh, I was here two weeks ago for a PET scan and um, I had, you know, I was hoping to see the no evidence of disease, but I had uh, two little spots pop up in my right lung. Um, Dr. Massell said that they are smaller than um, a pencil eraser, so that was reassuring. Um, he said they had always been there, but they had never reacted um, on my PET scan. But uh, this time they did react just a little bit. So he wanted to go ahead and take care of those two spots. Um, I did not start radiation back. I, um, I'm doing, I'm sorry, I did not start chemo back. I'm doing four radiation treatments. I had my second one today. Um, so I'll do the, these last two and then I'll come back in November for a PET scan and hope and pray that there's nothing else there. But um Dr. Massell felt pretty confident about it. I've been off of chemo for almost five months, and he said that if any more cancer was going to pop up, that it should have by now. So hopefully these are the last two spots that we're going to be dealing with, and hopefully we'll be done with it. Okay. Um, so are you just doing radiation? Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. I'm just doing radiation. Um, I, I had my second treatment today and I'll have my, my last treatment Thursday and um, then it'll just be kind of wait and see until November when I get my PET scan. But um, my CA-125 looks great. I think it was 5.4 last time and Dr. Massell said, you know, if, if he were to check his own level, it would probably be somewhere around that. He said that was very normal. So um, just trying to stay positive. <laughs> Hey, all right. Thank you for sharing. You know, as always, you know, we're we're, we're right here there with you, you know, praying and, and praying for the best, you know. So um we'll be ready. We'll be ready to hear the good news um in November. So we, we already we're already claiming that. We're already claiming that with the patch. Amen. 
No evidence yep. of things. So, you know, we were going to touch and agree, you know, with yep. you on that. So, um, we're going to be ready to hear the good news in November. All right. Going to be coming to you first. All right. <laughs> How's uh how's the baby? How's the baby doing? She's right here. Oh, yeah, <laughs> she turned okay. one last week and she started uh, she's walking. Getting big. She's getting big. She's growing. Yeah. yeah, she's definitely uh definitely growing, man. Yep, a big girl. She'll be ready to walk <laughs> at the RMC walk in uh March. All right. <laughs> all right, all right. We can definitely looking forward to, to seeing her or whatever. So thank you, thank you for sharing and sharing your baby on the screen with us. Appreciate it. Um, okay, we're gonna go down to uh, Jennifer. Do you have any updates or any questions or concerns you want to share with the group today? She, oh, you made it home, Jennifer. Okay, you're on mute. Jennifer, you're on mute, Jennifer. Sorry. Okay. Um, hi, everybody. <laughs> um, hey. Just a little update. Um, Antonio um, seems to be doing well responding to the treatment that he's on. Um, he's doing the um, penetumumab, and they added the, um, the carboplatin and the abraxin. And so he's had three doses with all three so far. It's like every week, and then he gets a week off. And his um, CA-125 is going down. Um, in July, when he was in the hospital, it was at five, like 579. And yes, yesterday it was 168. So he's, he's responding well. He's finally eating, not as much as I want him to, but he is finally eating, um, getting some energy back, wanting to go shopping all the time. <laughs> um, and so, um, next week is his off week of chemo, but we're also Wednesday, we're flying into Houston. And he'll get scans on Thursday and then see Dr. Massal on Friday. So I'm looking forward to that. So just hanging in there. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for sharing. And, you know, as always, you know, we're, we're praying for Antonio and your strength. And, man, we're 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 looking forward to, to good news in, in this year. Yes. For so I'm glad uh, he's doing better. He's feeling better. He's eating, um, getting stronger. So that's always uh always definitely a, pos a positive or whatever. So, man, that's, that's uh, so good. Um, yeah, thank you for sharing. We're, we're going to try to get, you know, we was talking to Ms. Richie here, we're going to try to get like nutritionists on or nephrologists, you know, just so you can come on here and talk about, you know, uh, you know, healthy things to eat and how to take care of, of you know, the kidney and stuff. Now, Antonio, did he already have a nephrectomy? Did he have a stick? Okay. Yeah, he had it. Um, he had that and some lymph nodes in his uh, adrenal gland out in uh, June. Okay. Okay. All right. Good. Good. He did meet with his nephrologist um, at the end of July, and he has another appointment in Oct uh, early November. So, okay. Yeah. All right. That's good. That's good. Well, um, let Antonio know. You know, we're all thinking about him and we're we're praying for him and looking forward to you know his testimony and uh good news we're looking for a lot of a lot of good news um so we can definitely encourage others and you know continue to you know press on and uh, until nobody nobody's affected with this uh disease so thank you thank you for sharing you're welcome um okay we're gonna go to Miss Roxanne, um, do you have anything to share with the group uh, today or any questions? I don't have anything to share. I really don't have any questions. I come on here because I'd love to hear all the positive things that are going on and how people's progresses are going. And it just makes me think back, you know, to my son and some of the stories that I hear here. So I, um, I just, I, I like being on here to just hear everyone's stories that are going on. But. I don't have any questions or anything right now. All right. Well, we thank you for, for, for joining us. You know, as always, you know, we're going to keep you uplifted. Um, you know, this this what this group is about, you know, uh, uplifting each other and, and, and 
keeping each other, you know, moving forward, you know, in a positive direction. So uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for, you know, listening to others and, and uh, man, being able to, you know, tell your story and stuff like that. So we, we definitely appreciate it. You know, we're going to keep raising awareness, keep, you know, moving moving forward and uh, you know, trying to create more progress. So there won't be any lost ones uh, from this disease. So we're going to carry that torch for, you know, all the ones we lost and, and continue to, to, to push forward. And um, so no, you know, no other mothers or anyone has to lose, you know, a loved one. So, you know, Thank I always you. say, you know, Dr. Masai, you know, you promised us, you know what I'm saying? That, that definitely, uh, you know, they're working hard trying to find a cure. So uh, we're going to continue to hold them, you know, hold them to that. And, and thank you for that. But nope, that's the part while I'm here because I do want to be a part of, like you said, eradicating this mm -hmm. this disease and just being a part of, you know, so like you said, no one else has to feel like this. No one else has to go through this. But, you know, I do want to be a part of working with you all to make things happen. I wasn't a part. I didn't know Dr. Masao. We went in a different direction because I knew nothing about it at the time. I wish I had, but, you know, I'm just I'm just glad to be here now. So okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you for having us, and being here. Um, hopefully you get to come down to the walk in March um, so we can, you know, see you in person and uh, so you can meet all of us and we can, you know, continue to, you know, press forward and raise awareness and stuff like that. So uh, thank you. I definitely plan to be there. I just wrote the date down and everything. And it's funny because that's my brother's 50th birthday and he actually lives in Houston. So now I oh, guess okay. I have. Um, <laughs> got another reason there. Okay, great. <laughs> yeah, so, but no, I will definitely be there. And I think I have a few other family members who plan to um, actually come and attend with me, so. Okay, thank you. Yep. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it for coming. Um, did we have somebody else just join, or uh, she joined and, and, and backed out? It may have been Andrea, I think, or? Yeah, yeah I, I think she may have been in the wrong room. In the wrong room. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Okay. Um, well, we're kind of short on people today, but man, it's, it's great to see everybody's faces. Uh, the ones that did come on. Um, you know, there's a lot going on around this time of the year, so you know, I know people got a lot, you know, a lot to do and stuff like that. But um, Ms. Richard, do you have any updates? I know you got a date for the walk. Do you have anything? No, we just have the date for the walk, which is March the 22nd here in Sugarland, And then we also have the one in uh, Pasadena, California will be uh, the weekend before then, which would be March the 15th. So um, that's the one that they do in memory of Anna. Uh, so it will be March the 15th. Uh, ours would be March the 22nd. And uh, Greece, uh, they're going to let me know if they will be participating as well, but they will give me their date. So if you know of anyone that want to organize a walk in your state or what have you, the month of March, you know, we'll do whatever we can to make that work. So um, we just want the awareness out there. We would love to have you in Sugarland. Um, I think it's just a great opportunity for us all to get together and share our stories and. Uh, we'll just we'll get together and I really want to ask you guys if you don't mind um, I was thinking that we would just go back to doing something at a restaurant uh, like we did year before last versus trying to have the hot dogs and then we disperse so we don't get a chance to really uh, spend time together so uh, does that sound okay for you guys because you know it's about you it's not about me um, yeah, I like I like the uh, restaurant idea. I want to you know be able to get you know, everybody you know together in one central location. You know. Okay, yeah, that's fine, man. Okay, I know you guys like the patio at Floyd's, but there are a couple other patios that are large enough to hold us, and that's something that we can talk about. We have time for that. Um, we're just trying to get the graphics together for the walk, and then uh, Misty. Her daughter, uh, both Misty and her daughter, uh, have a have a cold. So she said they're not feeling too good today. But 
And I think Ron is back in Indianapolis trying to tie up loose ends, you know, as it relates to Julia. But uh, that's about all. I know that um, I will be going to Louisville, Kentucky in November for the kidney cancer uh, symposium. I think it's a two day symposium. And then uh, we have Andre and Roxanne on a separate group that we're, we're gonna be working on like a comprehensive educational plan that incorporate policies and education. And the curriculum will be built for professionals as well as for the lay people. So that will be something that uh, we will continue to work on. And I think that's all that I have. Okay. Um, do we have a, a, I know we were trying to get a meeting for, um, you know, Dr. Azar and stuff like that. Did we ever get a, a, a date for that or we still trying to work on that? Well, Dr. Azar, he did give me some dates. He sent the email back um, and I, I can look at them and see. September is pretty busy for everybody since it is Sickle Cell Awareness Month. And my suggestion was that we take this basically um, outline and we take it and decide who wants to work on what. And we break up in small groups and then we'll start utilizing the main group to come together to let everybody know where we are. Since everybody's pretty busy and then we're going into the holidays. But they did send me a couple dates, two or three. You may, you guys may have gotten that email. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Yeah. So, uh, and I was a little confused because Dr. Azar told me he was very busy, but then I don't know who this other person was. So I can see if we can get them together. But I definitely know several of them are really, really busy with the sickle cell uh, awareness month. Okay. Um... Yes. Um, anybody have anything else they would like to share? Um, Ms. Richie is going to be a quick group. You know, I know you want to get to the debate and everything, so it's going to be pretty quick uh, since we don't have, you know, as many I, people. Um, yeah. I did want to mention, I know um, Jennifer says she's coming down uh, this week. Uh, Pamela will be down this week as well as uh, Heather is already here. So Heather's going back Friday. I know I don't know how Pam is doing, but she'll it'll be Jennifer and Antonio. Heather is here and Pamela. So I don't know. I just need would have to touch base and see if we are able to do anything like on Thursday, but I know. Richie, we'll be we'll be there um next week. Oh, next week. Okay. Okay. We'll eventually get a, get everybody together. It's hard trying to, you know, work around schedules and stuff. Yeah. Okay. I think um, his sister and father are going to be coming with us as well. Oh, okay. Well, we'll try to catch up with you next week because in October, mid October, I'll be gone. Okay. All right. Good. Um, Ron, how are you? Um, how are you doing? We just getting pretty well. Kind of went through um, everyone, so just trying to check on you and you know see how you're doing um, so far. You know since. Yeah. <clears throat> can you hear me okay? Yes. Yes, we can. Okay. Um. You know it's different. It's uh. I was thinking about it when I was driving home. <clears throat> Something's, I'm aware that something is missing. And um, you know, and then you start thinking about a lot of other things. You start rethinking everything that went on the last three months. And, and it's kind of weird. <clears throat> usually, usually when I'm at home in Michigan, 
you know, we would talk every day between 12, 1230. Strange. It didn't happen. I feel your pain, Ron. It's, it's, it's weird. I wish I could tell you it would get better. I mean, 12 years later, because it'll be 12 years on the 20th of this month with Chris. And it feels like yesterday. So I wish I could tell you it's, it's going to get better, but I don't think so. We just learn to cope. And that's why we're here to hold each other up. Mm -hmm. And I was, um, you know, I was letting, you know, Roxanne know, um, we're going to keep, you know, pressing forward. We're going to keep raising awareness. You know, we're going to keep, you know, um, pushing for cure to this disease, you know, in, you know, Julia's honor, you know, and all the ones that we, we lost, you know, we're going to take, you know, take that baton and continue to press forward and continue to fight and continue to, you know, drive until, you know, no one, you know, no one else has to feel, you know, the pain of losing someone to something like RMC. Um, so, you know, we're going to keep you uplifted. We're going to keep you in our prayers and our thoughts. And like Ms. Richie said, you know, this group, you know, we're here for you. You know what I'm saying? We, we you know, hope that you continue to to uh, join us and, you know, you know, lean on us, you know, if you need some support, you know, or whatever you may need. Um, Cause we are, you know, we are a family, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, we, we, we lost, you know what I'm saying? A, a, a part of, you know, our group, you know, and Julia. Um, so, you know, we, Definitely, you know, uh, feel that pain. We're going to definitely continue, you know, moving forward, you know, in, in her honor, you know. And I just, you know, Dr. Masai, Masai, you know, promised to care, man. I just, you know, I want it, like, so bad. Like, you know, right now, I just wish they had, you know, something that they can just, you know, inject or something like that that'll just, you know, cure this disease. But we're gonna definitely keep praying. Keep praying until this thing is is done. And then we can still have a support group, but you know, with the cure, you know, it can be about good good things, good times, you know, and stuff like that. So, you know, we're definitely um definitely gonna keep you uplifted Ron so thank you thank you for coming on today you know, I know it's, it's tough to you know, come on a group and you know but definitely feel your pain gonna keep you uplifted and prayed up so thank you for coming you guys feel free to reach out to Ron I bug him all the time <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a bad penny. Roxanne will tell you too. I'm like a bad penny. I don't go away. <laughs> I, I still, I, I love it. I, I love it. And I, like I said, Ron, you've been with the group longer than I have. After I lost my son, which, you know, was back in March, this group has, like Richie said, you, I, you never get over it. You learn to cope, but this group has really helped me a lot just hearing and sharing and getting to know you know other people the, the support group so i come on my son was never really a part of the group but i am and it has helped me so much just just the support and those good days bad days richie seems like she automatically knows because she'll reach out on those days and i'm like my god how did you know but it makes a difference to just you know be here and to see the support and, you know, it means a lot. It, it, it means a lot just to be here. And there's nothing else, I mean, I can really say, I never really knew Julia except a couple of times that I've seen her, but 
there's, there's not a lot to say. But you do learn to cope. Julia was beautiful. I mean, she, it was just something about her the first time that we, we, you know, she got on the call with her and her dad. It was just something about her that just really bonded us together. So, and of course I bond with everybody. I mean, it's like, you know, what's that old, what's that old rhyme? Old mother Hubbard. What's that? With so many children, she didn't know what to do. What's that rhyme? Y'all I'm so old. I don't even remember it. What is it? Andre, you young. What's that? What's that rhyme? Mm. Old lady in the shoe. So many oh, children. Old mother Hubbard. That's old oh. mother Hubbard. <laughs> old mother Hubbard. <laughs> Andre may have actually been too young for that. So you may have to, you know, dig back a little deeper. <laughs> They probably don't do nursery rhymes anymore. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I couldn't make it without this group. And uh, I just, as I've always said that I, I find peace when I know that I can help someone else because um, it is a lonely journey. Uh, and I just appreciate each and every one of you, you know, especially, you know, Andre Bryant, you guys have been just a, a a really great foundation for those that continue to travel unknown territory. They may not be completely out of the woods, but they're getting there, you know, and I think it's an inspiration to Antonio, you know, and others that are still a little bit, and even Jennifer, and still a little iffy, you know, so you just give others hope, and we just really appreciate everyone. I think we all have a vital part in this group, whether we still have our loved one or not, I think we're just, you know, um, a vessel for each other. Most definitely, most definitely. Um, Anything we can do for you, Ron? Um, no. <clears throat> um, I was uh, I was uh, talking to one of my neighbors uh, yesterday. He's a fireman, uh, great big old dude, you know, because those guys have those firefighters have to be really strong to carry all that equipment and whatnot. And <clears throat> he had he hadn't seen me. Um, since Julia passed, so it's been a couple of weeks. And he asked how Julia was doing, and, and I told him what had happened. And and he says, Brother West, I, I'm going to pray for you right now. And the, the funny thing is that, that, you know, that sometimes when I'm talking about Julia and, and, then, and, and the experience and and uh, in particular, um, what it was like the last couple of weeks, um, I, I will start to tear up. But he said, Brother Wes, I'm going to pray for you right now. And, um, and I stopped crying. So if you want to do something for me, Pray for, pray for my family, me. Pray for Julia in heaven. I, I know she's being taken care of. I, I think that would help. Most definitely, Ron. Definitely, definitely can do that. You know, we definitely can um, keep you uplifted, keep the family uplifted. Um, you know, keep Julia's kids uplifted. Um, so yeah, we're definitely gonna definitely gonna do that for you. I appreciate it. Thank you. You know, and God is our comfort comforter, so it's just a matter of just leaning on Him. Mm -hmm. You know, at times like this, He will not let you fall. You know? Sometimes we have to go through some things to really appreciate life you know and and now life has a different meaning to you 
because of what you've gone through. But we're here, we're here for you, and he will continue to strengthen you. And you know what? If you want to cry, it's okay to cry. And I've mentioned it to more than one person that if you want to talk about Julie, you can do that. And if that person don't want to hear it, then you, you scratch them off your list. You don't need that person. You know, whereas they don't truly know what you're going through unless they've actually walked this journey, but at least they can empathize with you and be there for you. You know, if they don't understand that, then you don't need them. That's the way I look at it. My list got a little short because you tend to, <laughs> you know, you know who's for real and you know who's not, you know, and that's one thing you do learn. We're just so fortunate to have, you know, Andre being our moderator and keeping all of us going because he's he's a beacon of strength. We're getting Brian where he needs to be. He's gonna come out of that chair one day. I think he's just waiting on a few more clear scans. Right, Brian? <laughs> yeah, but it, it's tough. It's tough. None of us like to see that. And even Andre and even Brian, they have clear scans, but they get anxiety every time they have a scan. You go through that because you don't know. You just don't know. We could just hope for the best. Now, uh, Ron, I had sent, uh, sent uh, like a glass shaped heart from Amazon. I don't know if you have received it or not. Um, I received it yesterday and um, there was nothing in the package and, um, I, and I was trying to figure out where where it came from. Yeah, because I, I forgot to put as a gift and then write my write my name on there, but yeah, that, I, I, I said and, and it was my intent to get in touch with Amazon. Mm-hmm. And um, because the tracking number is on the outside of the package. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And, and I was I was trying to find out where it came from. Yeah, so thanks. so thank you very much. This is very beautiful. Thank it, you. It, I really beautiful. appreciate that. You're welcome. Uh, you know, just you know, just a message. You know the. You know, let you know that, you know, Julia, you know, even though she's gone physically, you know, she's going to be there with you, you know, always, you know, in your spirit. So just a reminder. That's beautiful. Does um, anyone else have anything they would like to add or any other questions? Um, we're gonna make sure we try to get the uh, nephrologist or nutritionist on the call uh, next month, which our next meeting is gonna be um, October the eighth. October the eighth. Oh, I don't forget the Saturday meeting, Andre. Okay. Oh, Saturday, Saturday. That's our next Tuesday meeting. Our next Saturday meeting is going to be uh, the 28th. 28th. Uh, that's at 10 Central, right, Ms. Richard? 10 a.m. Central. Yes. 10 a.m. Central on the 28th. Whoever can make that, uh, we'd love for you to be there as well. So. You guys know I'm going to see uh, Lois in Greece next month. Oh, wow. Okay, all right. I'm excited. I still want us all to take a cruise together. Yeah. I think we'll have a ball. <laughs> we have to get Antonio well where he can handle it. Mm -hmm. um, give Lois our love. I and, will. And she says she's sorry she couldn't make it tonight, but she has uh, she is back working. You know, she teaches school, and this is uh, really, uh, I guess, early early morning for her. Yeah, so, yeah. Hopefully, she can join on, on Saturday. 
Yeah, she says she would join us on Saturdays. And so I'm going to work on getting the, the, the nephrologist and nutritionist. Uh, I'll get one for October, and we may hold the other one until the, the first of the year, just depending, since we have the holidays coming up. Um, maybe we could decide what fun things we want to do. It's something to think about. Uh, for the group meeting, we had one year for Christmas. It was a lot of fun. We had prizes and Larissa put together some kind of game night and we had all the ugly sweaters on and you name it. So that was fun that year. And I think we should think about doing something again in December. Uh, I would love to throw a party. If I had, if we can get a sponsor, we could throw a party and bring everybody in, fly everybody in <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> you know, I'm always looking for something to have a good time, you know? That's right. Yeah. So maybe next year we'll be able to do something. We can get us some sponsors. Somebody that love us. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Ron, I'm glad you, huh? I said I'll be there. Well, I know you will, Andre. I wish I could do another gala. That was a lot of fun. Everybody dressed up. It was nice. Oh yeah, that was nice. Definitely. Ron, I didn't think you were gonna make it back home that quick. Yeah, I um, I I um, I, I really, really, I was waiting on on Julia's ashes, and I got those. Okay. And and uh, and then I was back there this past weekend uh, to be with my grandson and, and Julia's sister. They were still struggling. Well, we all are. Mm -hmm. And, and they were looking like, uh, and, and Julia was a big part of their life. And, and so they, they were looking like they were all by themselves. And I had to, I have to reassure them that they're not all by themselves. You know, I'm, I'm still here. So, so I try to talk to them every day too, uh, to see how they're doing. <clears throat> And the um, my grandson, you know, he he's angry. He's, he's but that's part of the process. Anger. You, you know, you can find things that should have happened differently, and you're angry because they didn't happen for the best. And, and you're disappointed, and and, and you counted on um, other things and other people, you know, to make it good, mm -hmm. and it didn't happen. And it's painful when um, something as serious as someone's life um, had has ended and, and they meant a great deal to you. And that's where he's at. Um, he, he's trying to figure out, you know, what that feeling is that he has, you know, that, that thing that I, I described, that emptiness. And, 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 and it's, um, it, it's emotional and then, but you feel it like it's physical. It's a physical pain too. He doesn't understand that, you know, and so I have to keep communicating with him, you know, and 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 and, and try to make sure that he understands something correctly versus incorrectly. Being angry um, is is not is not correct. Okay, and, and I have to tell him, you know, Julia was really sick and she was in a lot of pain. I mean, I've never seen that, that level of pain before. 24 hours a day, all night long, you know, the moaning, the crying, um, the throwing up, the spitting up. I mean, it was something else. I've never seen anything like that before in my life. Um, she was suffering, 
and and but she's not suffering now. And that's good that she's not suffering now. Yeah, and, and I was explaining to him that um, there, there's a price to pay when you love someone. And, and that price that you pay is pain. The more you love someone, the more pain you're going to feel. Mm -hmm. So it's OK. If you're feeling a lot of pain, that means that you really love someone a lot. Dad, I have to, yeah, I was going to say I have to, I have to, I have to communicate with him frequently and, and stay on top of it. And Ron, I hope his instructors understand too in school because he may lash out with someone just because he is angry right now. Um, he may need to seek counseling, but um, he doesn't really know how to handle it because of his age. You know, it's, it's difficult for us as adults. So you can only imagine what a child is going through. Yeah. How old is he? Uh, the youngest one is 12. That, that, that's the one that I worry the most about. Um, during the service, uh, he sat next to me. He didn't want to sit next to anybody else. Um, and he, he didn't cry during the service. He just stared at Julia. trying to figure it out. Ron, where is he located? He's in Indianapolis. He's in Indianapolis. I'm looking for something. I'm looking for what might be a really good resource for you and for him. Just give me a second. And where are you, by the way? Uh, are you I'm, in Houston? No, I'm, I'm, I'm in Michigan. Oh, you're in Michigan. Okay. Yeah. Um, and w in where in um, what part of Michigan? In the Detroit area, or um, I'm 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 right between Detroit and um, Ann Arbor. So there is. Let's just see. There's a really fine program that we've worked with called Camp Kesem, K E S E M. I'll put it in the I'll put it in the chat window, okay? Okay. Um and they their whole purpose is to work with um, kids um, who are facing a parent's cancer or who have recently lost a parent. And it's for all ages. We have a, we have a, a lady, a care partner in our pancreatic cancer group with an eight year old and her dad, her husband, his dad is pretty sick. And he went this year, he had a fantastic time. And I think it would be worth reaching out to them. They are, uh, first of all, let me just put their, let me just put their, their website. Now, I don't have a lot of pool but I, one of our advisory board members, who's an onco oncologist in Boston, is on their board. So, if we if we're not getting anywhere, he can get me to the right people. But I, we may not need him. But I just want to know that's a, sort of a backstop. What I really want you to know is it's 
it's just a super program and, and it's going to help you and him as you process this. You know, I hear you saying, well, it's not good to be angry. I'm not sure. As you rightly say, he's got to get through the anger. And as long as the anger is channeled in the right places, maybe it's not so bad. It's not good if he's angry and he's beaten up on his schoolmates, like Richie was saying. But the anger in and of itself is natural. It's it's a process. It's good that he's getting it out and he's not bottling it up. So, you know, I see pluses and minuses, but it's not really my field. This is something I know I don't know enough about. Um, I just put it in the I just put it in the website. You can see it there. If you click on it, it'll open in your browser. Now, I just want to see. Um, where do they where do they have i think what you want is club kesem which is they have camps they have camps for these for the kids but they also have ongoing programs during the during the year which i think is what you want um and if you scroll down you'll see stuff on camp kesem what i want to know is where they are um, and how find a Kesem chapter that's really what we want find type your state Indiana let's start with Indiana um, let's see what they Indiana Okay, now yeah, there's nothing. Indiana University, which isn't close to Indi, that's not close to Indianapolis, is it? Well, 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 they have a very large campus in Indianapolis. Oh, okay. So maybe there's something on that campus. Let's see what it says. They have something at Ball State. They have something at Indiana University, and they have something at Notre Dame. So let's just see. Um, no, they are talking about, they're talking about Bloomington. I don't see Indianapolis, but here's what I think I, I would recommend because she may have, there is a lady with a, there's a, there's a point of contact. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy her name and address into the chat window. You'll find this yourself when later on when you go through it. But I, I would reach out to that lady and see what she recommends for the area where you where your grandson is. Explain the situation and. Um, and if not, I have a feeling that they will be able to direct you to more immediate help. Okay. okay, the other source that immediately comes to mind, and I don't know, is Gilder's Club, because Gilder's Club has a lot of programs. You know, Gilder is the, uh, Gilder's Club is, is, um, is cancer, um, what do they call them? Cancer support community, who are huge, and they absorbed all the old Gilder's clubs. Gilder was Gilder Radner, yeah. who who died many years ago from ovarian cancer, and then Gene Hackman set up Gilder's clubs. And what's happened is that these Gilder's clubs have been absorbed, and there are Gilder's clubs all over the country, and they have all kinds of great programming, and I think that it. To call a Gilders Club in, let's see if there's a Gilders Club in, in Indianapolis. Um, Gilders Club. And I think they will be able to suggest resources for you. Let's see. 
cancer support community, community central Indiana. Yep. There's a cancer support community in Indiana. Let me, let me put that in there for you too. And I would give them a call in the morning and explain the situation and see what they've got to support younger kids who have lost a parent. Because I think they'll have something. I mean, it, it, it's hard enough for you without having to assume the responsibility of your grandkids. That makes it doubly hard. Because it's not only hurting you, it's hurting you when you see how it hurts the grandkids. And I get it. I really get it. And I think that these resources, um, that's the thats the cancer support community for Indiana. It's the same as Gilda's Club. Some places they call them Gilda's Club. Sometimes they call them. But that's, that's what it was. Um, and let me see if I can find contact. Um, okay, here's a telephone number. But here's a telephone number. But you'll have to, you'll have to find the right person. <laughs> but three one seven two five seven one five zero oh, five. Um, that's the telephone number for that's the telephone number for um for the for the gilders club it's it it is in indianapolis on west 7, 71st street is is their location there and um let's you know because they 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 have a lot of social workers there um i mean that they're much, much bigger than we are. It so happens we work with them in a couple of places and we know the lady who runs the one in Madison, Wisconsin. And I just think that for you, they could be a huge, huge resource right now. They have counseling. And if not, they're going to know. And they're probably going to know also about Camp Kessem, they may send you to Camp Kessem too, but I I think between those two, between Camp Kessem and, um, and, and community and the cancer support community in Indiana, you should, and if you don't come back to Richie or, or to me and we'll see what else we can think of. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You see all those links in the chat window, right? No, for some unknown reason, I do not. I have but, them downloaded so I can send it to you, Ron. Okay. Ron, do you know how to open the chat window? It's those two little boxes at the top right of your screen. Mm -hmm. And it is open and it says chat and it says no chat messages yet. And How weird is that? Wow. I've, I've downloaded the link, so I'll just email it to him. Okay, so so Richie will get those Richie will get those to you. Um but if you just put it's Kesem dot camp for camp Kesem it's Kesem dot org. But um the rest of it she'll get and, and like I say, reach out and especially with Camp Kesem, I can call Ellie and, and ask him if we're not getting anywhere. But I think they're usually pretty, pretty good. Okay. And there are other programs too, but let's get to these. And then if not, um, Nancy's list, Nancy Novak is on our advisory board and she has a list of a lot of different programs and I'm sure she's going to have stuff as well in there and we'll do more research to help you. Um, I am, you know, really, I don't have words to say, you know, everybody says it, so, but there's no, you know, there's not much we can say. I do have regrets from Alexa, because um, we both returned from Los Angeles today. Um, 
and I, it's a sh slightly shorter trip for me than it is for her. And she did say to me that if she got delayed, she might not get in, onto the group. But I, I just texted her. I don't know if she texted me back. Um, that's coming from somebody else. No. I, so my guess is who knows where she is? I don't know. She's somewhere between Los Angeles and Palestine. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> Okay, Andre, you want to close us out? You're on mute, Andre. Rick, we appreciate you uh, hopping in and uh, you know, sharing those resources uh, nice, a pleasure. You know, with Ron and the group. So we thank you for uh, uh, jumping on here. Uh, we're about to close the next uh, RMC support group will be Saturday, September 28th at 10 a.m. Central Time, 10 a.m. Central Time. So we're looking forward to um, seeing you. Um, as always, you know, we're going to, you know, keep, you know, everyone um, uplifted in our prayers and, and our thoughts. Um, you know, like I said earlier, you know, we're going to keep pushing forward, keep raising awareness, you know, in the honor of, of the ones we lost, you know, in our, in our group. And to others, we, we lost the RMC as well. We're going to keep uh, pushing forward. Dr. Messiah promised the cure, and that's where we're going to we're gonna keep keep pushing forward to, to let us uh, realize. So uh, thank y'all for joining. Everybody have a great night. Until next time, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, so be blessed. You too. Yeah, much ever. comfort. I wish you a much, much comfort, Ron. And may, may Julia's memory always be a blessing for all of us. Yes. Yeah, yeah for sure.